The last part of our puzzle this week is this, the HP PhotoSmart D7460 photo printer. It's designed for printing photos and leaves nothing out. This printer does it all and it does it fast. It can print photos as quickly as 10 seconds per print. 10 seconds and take a look here, ah, a touch screen. But let's start under the hood. The PhotoSmart D7460 gives you quality that is as good as or better than Photo Labs. It uses the 6 ink Vivera system, making prints that will last for generations when we use the Vivera ink and HP's Premium Plus Photo Paper or their Advanced Photo Paper. Plus, it's economical to use because you only replace the cartridges that run out. And there's another economical benefit to HP's ink technology, and that they've introduced ink recirculation technology. What happens is the ink that's closest to the nozzles that would normally dry out gets squeegeed off and recirculated back into the inkwell so we don't lose as much ink. More ends up on the photo paper, less ends up being wasted. Now as far as connecting this to our computer, we have wireless printing using 802.11 or Wi-Fi networks. We can also plug Ethernet directly into the printer or we can plug a USB cable in from our computer so we have multiple options for connecting our computer to the printer. Now as far as computerless printing goes, we have a complete selection of media card slots for all the popular media cards out of digital cameras so we can plug directly in and transfer or print our photos that way. As well, you can plug in by USB using PicBridge technology from any of the popular digital cameras on the market, which in PicBridge is the industry standard for connecting digital cameras to imaging devices. The PhotoSmart D7460 has HP's real-life technologies built in, like red-eye removal, just like the R937 digital camera that we looked at earlier in this show. Now, if we take a look here in the touchscreen, once we've loaded in our photos, we have all sorts of different options, including printing, we have create, which allows us to work on projects, sharing and saving our images, as well as viewing our images at the top, which will allow us to actually edit the color and red eye on different photos. But if we go into the print menu to start, we see that we have all different sorts of formats that we can choose for automatically printing off photos off of the memory cards directly without any computer interaction at all. And the touchscreen works quite nice. Just go back and we go into the create area and that allows us to create different projects with the photos that we have here as well. Now, some of the other features of this printer include HP's new Smart Web Printing, which allows you to print web pages without cut-off edges or wasted sheets. I don't know about you, but I get very frustrated trying to print web pages because they never seem to fit. Well, now they will fit on single pages. They also have some really nice paper handling options. Besides our standard paper tray here, which also accommodates envelopes, we have a special photo tray, which accommodates cut sheets of photo paper, either 4x6 or 5x7. Now, I really like this feature because it means that you you don't have to go down and change your paper out every time you want to print photos. All the paper's here and ready to go. Now this printer also uses HP's AutoSense technology, which means if you're using their advanced photo paper, you see these barcodes here on the back of the paper. These barcodes are actually read by the printer as it's printing, making sure that all of the proper printer settings are set to optimize the quality on the paper, as well as making sure we don't accidentally put the paper in upside down, thereby wasting paper and ink. And speaking of paper and ink, this is by far the best way to maximize your value is these photo value packs. Using these packs, which contain all the ink and all the paper you need for about 150 photos, you can end up printing your photos off for under 30 cents a print, which is very competitive with standard photo finishing services. HP's invested so much money in this technology that we're exploring today. It's really similar to the investment that Apple's put into their operating system and Microsoft has put into Vista. And we, as the consumers, ultimately are the ones who benefit. I don't know about you, but I get really excited thinking of all the things that I can produce at home with this technology. It's one of the most dramatic and useful examples of how technology can make our lives richer.